What's up, B? Operation iDroid here, and today I just picked up my iPhone 6, and might I say that it is quite amazing. I honestly love this phone. Great iteration to the line. However, today's video is about the iPhone 6, but more about GBA for iOS. For those of you that don't know, GBA for iOS is a Game Boy Advanced Game Boy Color and Game Boy Emulator on your iOS device created by Riley Testa. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because many did not think that this would work in iOS 8 and of course with the new iPhone 6. However, thanks to Riley Testa, this is working marvelously on iOS 8 and of course the iPhone 6 and I just wanted to show it off a bit for those of you that don't know. Honestly, if you have yourself an iOS device and you're a fan of Nintendo games, I don't see why you would not have this amazing application on your phone. If you're interested in getting GBA for iOS, I've made tons of tutorials on it and you can check them out in the description below as well as click on the video on screen now. However, I'm going to be playing through Pokemon Emerald, but this isn't just any version of Pokemon Emerald. This is a Pokemon Emerald Egglock. Yes. So together with the operation, we created an egg lock, which is basically complicated unless you know the rules of it. However, it's just a game filled with boxes of eggs. However, I honestly just want to show you guys some gameplay of me just playing through the game. And hopefully you guys enjoy. Anyways, I really love GBA for iOS. It is an incredible application. I've mentioned in the past that I was a press beta tester for this application before it came out so I did help in testing it out and making sure that it was all good however GBA for iOS is still being updated to the day that this video is released and the rumored or the well-known GBA for iOS 2.1 will be coming soon and I honestly cannot wait for that GBA for iOS 1.2 will be containing I'm sorry, GBA for iOS 2.1 will be containing one of the features that has been one of the most requested features since Cheats, which is wireless multiplayer, which is, which is honestly just amazing. So I cannot wait for GBA for iOS 2.1, and I can assure you guys that as soon as that's out, or even before that's out, I will be having videos on that amazing update to this at the moment we're at on gba for ios 2.0.7 which is the last update before 2.1 besides wireless linking there are just so many other things that are incredible that are going to be on gba for ios 2.1 and i hope you all are excited for that as much as i am because it, it's honestly it's gonna be incredible being able to play games for example like pokemon emerald with your friends and trading with them battling their team and all that good stuff however i think that's where i'll end off the video just by showing you guys here in gba for ios 2.0.7 that multiplayer wireless linking will be coming soon as you can see here linking allows you to use multiplayer features that normally require a link cable like the original game boy advance game boy sp and game boy color all that good stuff so as you can see here, make sure to turn on push notifications or follow at RileyTestet and at PaulThor on Twitter to know when the feature is available, which will hopefully be very soon. And I can tell you guys that I will possibly be betaing GBA for iOS 2.1. So, if you want to be the first to know about everything GBA for iOS 2.1, I recommend that you hit that subscribe button to be updated whenever I upload a video. I upload iOS videos every Friday, so look forward to that, and I'll see you in the next one.